Bayern Munich are in crisis right now and the key question that I'm wanting to answer this video is this, is Julian Nagelsmann losing the dressing room? There's been multiple statements, multiple rumours which suggest that this may be happening. This is the process which led to this dismissal of Nico Kovac, of Carlo Ancelotti, of former Bayern coaches who were sacked. Is this happening to Nagelsmann right now? Are his players throwing him under the bus? Let's look at these rumours, let's look at these statements and I'll give my thought on this crisis for Bayern Munich with the current Bundesliga standings. This crisis centres around the central midfielders. Nagelsmann is not keeping the central midfielders happy. For the centre mid starts, there is Joshua Kimmich, there is Marcel Sabitzer, Leon Gretzka, and Ryan Gravenberg. However, three people are competing for one position, and one person is assured every game. This player is Joshua Kimmich. And as you see in this first statement, Nagelsmann's contact with Joshua Kimmich increasingly over other players is causing some issues in the dressing room and this is the start of issues in the dressing room because players might feel that they're not being respected, that their thoughts are not being heard, that they are not being considered while Kimmich is getting this green pass, this free roam, free, uh, free will to do whatever he wants and I don't think other players like this, I don't think it should be like this, Nagelsmann needs to communicate better with his other midfield players. And we see in this statement that um, in the last game, of course, Nagelsmann subbed Masraoui off and moved Kimmich to right back. But it seems that Kimmich kicked off about this. He wasn't happy about this. And he has to be played in centre mid. And the coach followed him, which shows maybe the coach, maybe Nagelsmann is not having the courage to do what's right for the team. He's so worried about losing his power in the dressing room. He's so worried about players such as Kimmich that he's not able to make the right decisions and he is therefore not being a good manager. I'm concerned about this. I savaged Nagelsmann for this in the player ratings and my match analysis video of the Bayern versus... Was it Stuttgart? Oh, it was Augsburg, sorry. The Bayern versus Augsburg game. I wasn't happy about this because he took off a Masraoui who was playing well and eventually had to bring a Stanislic on a right back who's playing badly in order to accommodate Kimmich's wants to play central um, mid. But I'm not happy about this because Kimmich shouldn't get to decide what the coach um, does with his team. It should be the coach, it should be Nagelsmann who decides. So this is very concerning and shows maybe Nagelsmann lacks clout, he lacks power in the dressing room. Furthermore, Nagelsmann in his press conference, he always blames the team. For example, uh, here it says he was blaming the finishing technique of the attackers, but the players want more self-criticism from the coach. We even saw last season when Bayern played horribly, horrendously against Villarreal, Nagelsmann was saying, oh, we should have got through. Thomas Muller has to score that headed chance, which wasn't even the great headed chance. It was like 0 0.3, 0 0.4 xG. Um, in the Champions League loss versus Villarreal and this shows that he doesn't take responsibility, he doesn't say yes, it was my tactics that were the mistake, yes, I'm the one at fault, I'm the one who needs to improve. No, he's always blaming the players, it's never his fault and this comes to me as very stubborn, very arrogant and I don't like this at all. I think the players don't like this at all because it shows that he's just blaming them and absolving himself of any blame which has a weak mentality and I think this then transfers over to his players during the games. Oh, they can blame the, the referee, they can blame the opposition fans, they can blame the pitch. No, no excuses. There should be no excuses for runs like this at uh, Bayern Munich. Nagelsmann should take responsibility for what has been poor tactics. Where is the 4-2-2-2? Why has Nagelsmann been man been persisting with this weird 4-2-3-1 when the 4-2-2-2 was working so well at the beginning of the season. I don't understand. <sighs> anyway, furthermore, in this midfield situation, Ryan Gravenberch has had a statement and in this statement he said that he was disappointed to not start any dis uh, Bundesliga games. He, uh, he said that you want to play, but the manager picks other players. And this shows a lack of communication between Nagelsmann and Gravenberch. And you can, um, you can by extension, have that Nagelsmann with certain key team members. 
But also, it's this reluctance to bench Kimmich. Why is he so insistent on benching a Kimmich? Yes, he's been good in recent weeks, I accept that. But he wasn't great for the m much part of the last year. And he hasn't been great uh, many times, but he's still absolute first choice. He plays every minute. Why can um, Nagelsmann not just rest Kimmich? That is a big problem facing Nagelsmann and a reason why there's congestion within the positions of the lineup, which can cause the dressing room morale plummeting. And it could be bad news for Nagelsmann in the future. Niko Kovac lost the dressing room. He then lost the Bayern job. Will Nagelsmann do the same? It's up to debate. Let me know in the comments. After yesterday's, well not yesterday now, but after a few days ago team visit to Oktoberfest, the players stayed on like Neuer, Kimmich, Goretzka, Davies. And Nagelsmann wasn't happy about the team even going to Oktoberfest, but the fact they stayed on shows maybe they don't respect them. Shows that maybe the dressing room morale is bad, such that they don't care that much about losses, which they should be caring about. A Bayern team of the past would not have had antics like this partying after losing the game. So, perhaps they don't respect him. Perhaps Nagelsmann doesn't, his word doesn't carry that much weight. Perhaps because he is always starting these players like Kimmich. You see here, Kimmich is one of the leaders. And Davies and Hernandez, who are also surefire starters. They get complacent. And they are taking too many liberties, like partying after a loss. This shouldn't be happening. This wouldn't have been happening in vintage Bayern. I'm not happy about this. I don't think Nagelsmann's happy about this, but this is the culture he's created at Bayern. He's not punishing key players like Kimmich for their mistakes, which means they can live with impunity. He is not having the courage to take on players like Kimmich. He's giving them too much free reign. And he's not accommodating players like Ryan Gravenberch because of his insistence on starting players like Joshua Kimmich in midfield every game, like starting Sadio Mane in games even though he's been poor. He's not being able to stand up to these big players. I think he's losing the dressing room. If you have Sadio Mane who's playing badly, then you have someone like Matthias Tell. What do you think Matthias Tell thinks when he's not getting a look in even though Sadio Mane is playing badly? This is the Bayern Munich that Julian Nagelsmann is leading right now. He's treading a very dangerous line. I think that, honestly, once a manager loses the dressing room, they lose the job. These next few weeks will be really crucial for Nagelsmann. Let me know your thoughts on Nagelsmann's handling of the team. I think that he's not taking enough responsibility for his own actions. His actions have consequences, but apparently to him, they don't. It's just the player's fault. <sighs> anyway. This was my um, review of the recent news, the recent interesting news about whether Nagelsmann might be losing the dressing room. Please let me know if you enjoyed and uh, see you for later videos. Thank you.